Do you know what the forces are on an anchor when you whip on a 73 meter or a 240 foot highline? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to my gear room. At Consumers River Gorge, we rigged the 73 meter or 240 foot highline and put this on the anchor. Now a couple weeks back we did the 115 foot or 35 meter at the Rostrum in Yosemite National Park and I whipped on that when it was tight and when it was loose. So go check out that video. We were uh, started at 2 kilonewtons before I whipped and was anywhere roughly in the 4 kilonewton range uh, when I did whip on that shorter line. But now we're on a longer line and I want to see the differences that it created having uh, different people on it now and a longer line. Now if you haven't been to or seen CRG, check out this quick edit that Kim put together for us. Okay, so before we get to the test, let me plug a few things real quick. If you haven't seen the International Church of Slackline, go check it out on slackline.com and get involved. And it really helps this channel if you go to patreon.com and donate $1 per episode. It's only 4 bucks a month, and it really helps make this channel better. All the money I get goes right back into making it awesome. So now for the test. Let me introduce our volunteers. I'm Michael Mel Melner, and I weigh 187 pounds. Hi, I'm Scott, and I weigh 155 pounds, and I am still learning to highline. Hi, I'm Mitch, and I weigh 141 pounds, depending on how many In-N-Out cheeseburgers I've eaten. The pose, yeah, the pose is doing good. 3.16, woo! You! Is that it? No, 4. there we 7. go. 4.72. Is that it? Give a nice tuck and roll there. Yeehoo! Not a full whip though. Not a full whip. What does a not a full whip give us? Surely more than four. That's it. That's it. That's it. So Mel is sliding over to the other side to see what a whip will do over there. 2.98. Oh! That wiggle put wiggle, wiggle. that wiggle put us at three even. Oh! Wow, I thought he was gonna recover from that. Like no way. Only 4.1. Are you kidding me? What? So about three kilonewtons while he's walking and very very light bounces. Then he's gonna give us a whip. This is close to the anchor. Oh man. Oh there we go. 4.48. Cool. 2.96 standing on it. So basically three. Ooh. And then it goes to 4.38. Again, 2.9. Whoa. <laughs> 4.32, but he was, uh, he fell from a sitting position, so that's less distance he fell. Woohoo! 4.32. Wow, we just cannot get to 5 kilonewtons anywhere we whip on this line if we're starting at in the 2 range. Yep, 2.88. Ah, the Wiggles gave it a 2.94 before he fell, and now it's 
4.36. So if we go to pounds, because I love pounds, that's under a thousand pounds. That's pretty good. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he doesn't even get to four on that one. Oh, he didn't whip. That's why. He caught. And it saved about a little under a kilonewton by catching. The wiggles are adding a little bit of force. I'm sure if they really rocked it. Woo! True whipper. Yeah, keeps showing about the same. That is crazy. So this test was super interesting. We ranged uh, from 141 pounds to 187 pounds, and the results were shockingly similar. So regardless of who was on there, it was right at like three kilonewtons, give or take like 0.1, uh, before somebody whipped, and low to high four kilonewtons uh, when they did whip. But it never went beyond four kilonewtons. It never got to five. Now when I was on there, and I'm 155 pounds, it was also at three kilonewtons and mid fours when I whipped. All right, starting we're at 3.12 kilonewtons. Sitting at right around 3.1 kilonewtons. 4.56. Now we did try to get it to five kilonewtons. What we did was put the tension system on there, pulled it to more than I ever put on a high line, and I tried to bounce and then whip. And you can see here that I still could not put it past five. Yeah. How long has it been like that? I don't know. Ah. I feel like I would have seen that. <laughs> nice, dude. All right, what was this? Uh, wait, you're in the... Four, six, Mel got your beat. Uh -huh. Four, Four, six. Four point six. Another interesting number we got is when Kim was on there, she's 125 pounds, and she was only putting on 2.6 kilonewtons when she was standing, but she never whipped. She caught in, in between her legs, and when she did that, it only put it at 3.1 kilonewtons when she fell, which is what it is when we're standing on it. Dino says 2.62 max. Woo, and she fell. 3.10 kilonewtons. Now, this kind of science isn't exactly sterile. Um, in order to have more of a sterile environment, you need to make sure that you tension it to the exact same uh, kilonewtons before a person gets on after each whip. You have to make sure the leash length is exactly the same on each person for each whip. And ideally you'd want to whip in the same places um, or vary it up. You would need to do a lot of whips to make it exact. But at the end of the day, it's about three. And then when you whip, it's about mid fours. Now this is super interesting to me because I thought we were putting eight, nine, 10 kilonewtons, maybe 2000 pounds of force on a line when we whip. And it's half of that. And it, the results were very similar on our rostrum line, which was only 35 meters long. Our next test that I'm very interested in doing is a two or a 300 meter line because those tend to get pulleys. There's more tension added to it. Usually like a tight nylon main with a light backup seems to be pretty popular. And I'd like to know what kind of forces that puts on. Now the tighter something is, the more it absorbs the shock. And the looser something is, the more of a shock load you'll get. And it all ends up coming roughly about the same at the end. I would like to stick this on a big line on a future video and test that out. If you have tips or advice or something that you'd like me to do before I put this on a big line so you can get better information, let me know. But in the meantime, go to slackline.com, join the church, buy a t-shirt, and go to patreon.com to support this channel with one dollar per episode to help experiments like this. If I can get a, enough people to donate some money, I'll buy another dyno and put it on the person whipping simultaneously on the anchor. That would be a fun one. Even though these forces are less than I thought they would be, they're still high forces. And if you rig things wrong, you could die. Therefore, you shouldn't highline.